Hi there. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to Be You Too Full, my first podcast. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful that you stopped by, even if it's for just a short time. I am grateful. Okay, so let's kick it. Let's just get started. Um, before I start to just kick it with you guys, I am genuinely asking you to forgive me if you hear any strange noise in the background. It's because I work from my house. I live in East, East New York, Brooklyn, and I live near a train and next door to a hood bar. So if you hear some people talking in the background it's probably right there outside or if you hear a little rumbling sound it's probably because the train is going by and eventually um god will upgrade me and i will be able to have the resources to provide you a more professional setting or a professional sound until then i told you that with my seven day real quick workout that i recently posted up um on YouTube, the quality was so terrible, but it's like, I'm going to get this, you guys. So anybody who dares to support me, thank you so much. I am more than grateful. And with that being said, let's just kick it. Okay, so today's topic, of course, is about being yourself to the fullest, staying true to yourself. Don't fold. Okay, in a world that's constantly changing and what seems like changing for the worst i don't really want to say the worst because there's still some good people out there and that's the point of this podcast but it seems like everything dark and evil is praised and lifted up and any little bit of good any bit of light people want to put out people stop believing in the good people stop believing in righteousness people stop believing in anything like to stop believing in the good man and so Everybody has become very cold. Some people just because they like to see the world burn. And others genuinely because they want to protect themselves. And I can't lie. I've been one of those people who have probably become cold and distant and hard-hearted. Because I just been t- I just got tired of being hurt all the damn time. So um, hurt people hurt people. And so eventually you become cold everyone seems to be petty and miserable not every single one so please don't take this personal everyone seems to be petty and miserable and you know all i see here and there are people trying to make life harder for other people unknowingly making life harder for themselves and one thing that's tough for me i must say is trying to remain loving and trying to remain positive and trying to remain my true self through it, all, through it all. I must admit, I think I always want the best for others, but it's times that I generally just don't. I just don't. And not to justify anything negative in my life, I allow Jesus to justify everything, you know, that I've done wrong, but not to justify it. But that really came from a place where I got tired of being a gentle hearted human being. And I've been gentle. I've been a gentle person since I was a young child. Um, I've always remember. I miss that person. I'm not even gonna lie. I miss being being that person. I think I, I strive every day to be a gentle person, a loving person, a kind person, a giving person. And it's just really, really tough in this world where everybody, nobody gives a rat's ass. Excuse my language about anything. Lord, please forgive me for using that curse word i mean i hate it when people judge me you know what i mean i think we all do i think we all hate when people just judge me but i hate it most when people judge me because of what everybody else is doing everyone else is being petty everyone else is being miserable every else is everyone else is being cold and and spiteful and 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 it's just downright dark so that means to everybody that everybody is like that that means to people that everybody is like that it's like when a guy cheats on his girl, like, does that cheats on you? If you're a girl, a guy cheats on you, that means every guy is a cheater. Or if a girl used a man for his money, like, that means every girl's a gold digger now. You know what I mean? So, um, I remember a situation um, that happened a while back where um, I had ordered some soap. It was 
I had so much of this soap, bro. I had so much of this soap that I just wanted I wanted to give some out. It's not like I didn't have the intention on using the soap, but it's just I had so much of it left over. And I gave one of my friends a couple of bars of the soap just to get rid of it. And so later that week, later that week, we went shopping together. And I noticed that she was picking up large amounts of soap. And it wasn't like, oh, bro, I just gave you soap. Why are you buying soap or whatever? The first thing that came to my mind was, does she think that I was trying to insinuate that she stink? Or did she think that I was trying to insinuate that she was broke and she couldn't afford soap? Or whatever. It just seems like any good thing that I try to do or a lot of us try to do, it goes unnoticed. Or people are automatically assuming that you have motive behind your good actions and I guess it's because um we've been betrayed it's so funny because I just went my messages today and um I had a situation with a friend I think it was last year around this time or maybe even earlier I think it was last year around this time I had a situation with a friend it was a huge misunderstanding she thought that I was trying to hurt her I was trying to play her and being the person she is, she don't. She's not gonna let nobody play her. So, she reacted to that situation, of course, hostile. You know what I mean? And you know, we we exchanged our words, and you know, of course, we hashed it out. And we talked about it or whatever. And I'm kind of glad that we kind of did. I mean, I don't know where we stand now. We haven't spoke in a while. We did hang out and speak after that. We both were at peace, and she's dear to my heart. But it just goes to show that. Everybody, people, the world is carrying everybody like everybody is. This f- freaked up person, like this bad person. I had another friend one day, we were just talking about, just randomly talking, you know what I mean? And I said that I, I, I didn't know what to do with my daughter hair. And, you know, she slightly got aggressive and stated like, you can go on YouTube and learn how to do your daughter hair. And, and I felt like because the world, people do this so much, people are so manipulative, like people would express a need around a person, a good-hearted person, because they know that good-hearted person is going to do something about it. And I felt like she knows how to do hair, but I wasn't asking her to do my daughter's hair unless I would have just flat out and been like, yo, do my daughter's hair. I need somebody to do my daughter's hair. I just was having a moment of expression in a conversation. And it just made, it broke my heart because it's like I'm being carried as a manipulative person and I didn't like it. You know, and now the situation, it was double sided because she probably wasn't even thinking like that. She probably just felt like what you complaining for is 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 outlets that you could learn or whatever. It could have been double sided. But I, I assumed or, or whatever that she probably thought that that's what I'm thinking. It's just sad that two friends can't have a conversation without one person thinking that the other person is trying to play them. Um, play them. I found myself actually I isolating myself from the whole world at a point. And just shunning everybody out and hardening in my heart. I just became so hard in my spirit. I I, I got so tired of walking on eggshells. I don't like walking on eggshells in my relationships. So I got so tired of people trying to turn me into some hideous monster all of the time. And it's genuinely because that's what everybody is used to. And that's what everybody is used to seeing and being around. And now it just seemed like I'm that too. And no matter what. And... And people will really carry you like that. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It came to a point where I felt like, yo, maybe I should I should be this person if people are gonna keep on treat me like that because they treat you bad when they think you're a bad person. Or if they've been around so many bad people that you know what I mean, they think that you too are this this creepaholic, you know what I mean? It's like this guy, for instance. He wanted to he wanted to mess with me, but he didn't want to mess with me to be with me. You understand? He wanted to mess with me so that he could have some money he could have sex with. And I wasn't really having that. I wasn't first of all, I was feeling him on a different level. I was feeling him as if I wanted to, to get to know him, I wanted to date him, I wanted to be there, or whatever the case may be. But he, that's not what he wanted. He wanted to just have sex with me because in his head, that's all I was. You know what I mean? And and, and growing up in the hood, it's a lot of that. It's a lot of that, like excuse my language, you're just a fuck. And so that's how they'll carry you. And all while pretending like they love you and pretending like that they want to be with you, but telling themselves and telling their friends and treating you like 
of a, a hoe and it kind of messed me up because it's like that's not what I am and because that's what I was in your head doesn't mean that's what I am because that's how you treated me and that's how you seen me and that's how you carried me that doesn't mean that's what I was you know what I mean and then you have to fight everybody and mama because he done it they, they done people didn't trashed your name or lied on you or, or discredited your um, character all over the streets trying to make you something that you're not and I've seen a lot of people fold which leads to the topic of today be yourself to the fullest stay true to yourself I've seen people fold so much that the world has beat them up so much that they have allowed themselves to become the very thing that they tried to make them like you date a guy this is the first guy you date. This, this is what happened to me. This is the first guy you date. He acting like he want to be your boyfriend. He want to be with you and such, such and such. But he's telling everybody you, you a hoe. And that's how he's, 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 he's trying to carry you. You understand what I'm saying? And then so you break, y'all break up. You, you go your separate ways. And then another guy try to holler at you. And because of what he heard from the other, from, from the stories that's being carried around, that's how he try to carry you. And then it's like you can't escape that stigma. You can't escape that storm. So you carry in that weight until eventually you just say, fuck it. Excuse my language. I'm so sorry, Jesus. Forgive me, everybody. I'm really praying and I really stop cursing. You know what I mean? But until you say, just forget it. Like, let me just, I'm just going to be this. This is how they carry me. This is how they treat me. This is what I'm going to be. It's the same thing with a, with a black man in the hood. To, to, to everybody, you just, a, you just a thug. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like you can't escape that stigma. God bless those who have overcame that. But some of our sons haven't overcome that. And so now they got to fight. They got to fight that image till eventually they fold. Stay true to yourself no matter how hard or difficult it may be. Fight the lies and the negativity with the truth and walk in love. Choose love every single day. Be honest and don't let the, this place change you. Go against the grain. Go against the lie and remain firm. I am this, not that. I am respectful and honest. I am a good person. I am a good pa parent. I, you know what I mean? It's just so much. So much is, I mean, I, I say in, in the black community a lot, but it's everywhere. It's everywhere. You understand? It's, it's, it's always something. Somebody's trying to, don't let somebody else's thoughts about you. Don't let somebody else's feelings about you. Don't let every, somebody else's story about you. You understand? Become who you really are. Be that good person. Be that loving person. Be strong. Keep going. Don't stop. And I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Trust me. I know it hurts. Every day I fight. Every day I fight. I want to give up. I want to give up some days. But I have to remember, I look at my two good kids and I say, yo, I can't leave them in a world like this. I cannot give nobody the opportunity to tell me I'm a certain something. You know how many times I've been in a relationship with a broken man and he tried to make it seem like I was something that I was not. And I had to fight off people trying to make me that and I wasn't that and looking at these people like you've been there before. You've been judged before. People have done this to you before. People trying to make you a liar. People trying to make it seem like you're crazy or you're delusional and you're this and you're that. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make this event session. The only thing I could do is use my experience so that I can go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Niggas want to tell me, people want to tell me, oh, you popped, you broke because I don't have a whole bunch of money. You understand what I'm saying? Or because I don't choose to invest my money entirely into materialistic things like it's as people try to break my spirit and so that's why i can sit here and tell you don't fall that's why i get up every day and i still say to another person what you need i could be there and help you you understand what i'm saying that's why i could still sit there in the same god face that try to break me and say you know what how can i be here for you today the same friends that try to diss me try to create a negative a person about me you understand what I'm saying? I can still say to that person, like, yo, what's up? Or oh, forgive that person. Or still pray for that person. And, and honestly speaking, without God, I wouldn't be able to do it. Without God, I wouldn't be able to keep going forward. And that's just the truth. Though, for I'm telling you, God knows who you are, who you really are. He sees your heart. He knows your thoughts. He knows who you really are and what you're really trying to do. He knows. He knows. Don't fold. Remember, people judge because they, that's what they've seen all their life. That's what they've been brainwashed to think that's what the world is. You understand what I'm saying? And 
that's what they've been around and hurt people hurt people I said that earlier and so that's why people automatically think that because they've seen that so much around them I've been there I've been there within relationships and friendships it's like I've seen so much craziness I'm not even sure like I just you know got caught up with a, a girl that I, I went to high school with you know what I mean? I'm still a little... I'm not sure if she really for me. You understand what I'm saying? But sometimes I hear her conversation and she don't sound like she's the type of person that want to break another person down. It sounds like she's been there, done that. People try to break her down too. You understand what I'm saying? But I kind of like always had that shield up in front of her. Like, nah, I don't really really know like you know people who have you know what I mean people judge me you understand I mean carry me different ways I'm not gonna say a lot like I probably gave people reasons after a while reasons to judge me because I've been hurt so much to the point where I started to become the very thing that hurt me you that's why I sit here and say don't fold be that light be that love even if you have a moment of weakness do not stay there rise above it overcome it there are more people out there just like you, just like me. Some afraid because they're too, they're too tired. They're tired of being hurt. They're tired of being used. We have to fight, though. We have to fight for the good that God placed in us and carry it on. It's like a race. It's like one man is holding the torch. You run and run and run, and we run to the next one. Hold, pass the torch. We run and so forth and so on. You know what I'm saying? Love and life is not dead, so don't fold. Don't fold. I know it's, it's so easy to say, you know, F that. Everybody's doing too much. I'm not going to be out here getting dragged and stepped on. Remember, your blessings don't come from man. Your blessings come from God at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? Just love. Above all, just love. That's the, that's the commandment that our Lord gave us. Love God. Love yourself. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. And you will reap what you sow. That's so true. What goes around comes around. And you want to make sure that you continue to, to, to put good seed in the, in the ground. The word of God says that we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. If we cover our light, then we will be, com- we will be covered in complete darkness. If we lose our, our taste, our salt, like, then the world will become flavorless. And I'm not saying just be a good person. I mean, because I honestly have to tell you the truth. I don't think that we can, can continue without, without God, without constantly praying and returning to the one true source. And that's the creator of all things through his son, Jesus Christ. Like, don't fold. That's, all, that's it for today, my beautiful souls. Stay beautiful in mind, body, and soul. And do not grow weary in doing good because in due time you will reap what you have sown. And we cannot say when due time will be. You understand what I'm saying? But I can tell you that we need you. The world needs you. You are important. Don't change. Do not change. No matter how much the devil attacks you. No matter how many demons attack you. No matter how many hurt people try to hurt you and try to make you stop being a good person. That tells you you'll stop loving Stop being hateful. Stop sh- 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 shining light. Stop giving. Stop being selfish. Like that's where we at in this hour in this world. We telling each other to stop doing good stuff because it's just not worth it no more. It just seems like the darkness is taking over and the darkness is winning and we cannot let the darkness win. We cannot let the darkness take over. We must shine our light. Choose love and keep choosing choose love. I don't care what they say about you. What God has to say about you is more important than what anybody has to say about you. I don't care what they do to you. The way that God loves you is way more important than how anybody would ever feel about you. The thoughts of God is more important. His his ways is higher than our ways. His thoughts is higher than our thoughts. God is not like man. He loves you more than any man can love you. And I I speak to even my own soul right now, to my own spirit right now. Because today I even had a moment of weakness where I wanted to give up. I really genuinely fight these battles where I just want to stop caring. I want to stop loving. I don't want to be there for nobody no more. Because who's here for me? Who's here for me and these kids? And then I got to remember God is here. He wake me up every day and give me the strength to be a mother. He give me the strength to be a friend. He give me the strength to be a sister. And I have failed so many times, but he has picked me back up. And I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Don't give up. Do not stop here. Keep going. Keep pressing towards the mark. This is a race. This is a race. And you will win. You will reach. You will reach the end. 
don't fold God bless you all. I love you all. I love your life. I love your soul. I pray God will continue to cover you, continue to strengthen you, continue to protect you and your family and cover you and your territory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Until next time, you guys, stay encouraged. Stay beautiful.